Hello buddy, today I, Pupa, will show you how to set up the proxy in Proxifia. First of all, you need to download Proxifia. In the description below, you will find the link that will lead you to the official Proxifia website. Click Download Proxifia 31 day free trial. Click the Show Downloads icon. Double click on the Proxifia Mark DMG file. Drag the Proxifia icon to the Applications folder. Open the Finder, Application section. Double click on the Proxifia app. You will see the window with the next message. Proxifia is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Click Open, click OK. Open System Preferences. The Security and Privacy window will be opened. Unblock the window by using the password or the fingerprint. I use it the fingerprint. Opposite the line System Software from the application Proxifia was blocked from loading. Click on the Allow button. You will see the message. Proxifia would like to filter network content. Click Allow. Then block the Security and Privacy window and close it. Now you can open the Proxifia program. For now, we can use a 31-day free trial. Before we go to the next step, we need some proxy data. IP, port, login and password. So, where can you find this data? You can Google free general proxies, but if you are looking for safety and stable work, it's better to use private proxies. I use proxies from AstraProxy. You can find its link with some promo codes or discounts info in the description below. I use Astro Proxies because of the proxy quality and the technical support. I like support especially. Let's back to setting the proxy. In the upper left corner, click Profile. In the pop-up menu, select Proxy Servers. Click on Add. In the Open It window, specify IP in the Address field and specify the proxy port in the Port field. I wrote a SOX5 port, so in the protocol field I selected SOX5 version 5. If you are using free proxies and nothing else is required, click Save. But if you are using personal proxies, as I do, then check the box Enable and fill in the username field with login and fill in the password field with a pass. Then click Save. The program will offer you to use this proxy by default for all PC. For now, you can click Yes. Later, I will explain how to change this setting. Click on OK, close the profile window. Congratulations, setup completed. To check the connection, go to apprefy.com. Your IP should be replaced with the proxy IP. And one significant point that you should not miss, check the absence of DNS leak. What do I mean? If you are using the proxy with Germany IPs, then DNS should be Germany. If you are using the proxy with French IPs, then DNS should be French, and so on. Return to the Proxifia app, click DNS.com in the Open It Profile window and check the box again the Detect DNS Settings Automatically line, and check the box again the Resolve Host Names through Proxy line. As well, you should take into account the exception. On some operators, Google DNS can be determined. This is a common situation. Likewise, it happens with regular users. When you need to disable the proxy, click Profile in the upper left corner. In the pop-up menu, select Proxification rules. In the Open It window, select Block in the Action column. You can check if the proxy is disabled by going to iprefy.com. Your real IP should be returned. Earlier, I promised that I will explain how to change the setting if you want to use a proxy not for entire PC traffic but for specific programs only. You need to set a proxification rule. For this, in the upper left corner, click Profile. In the pop-up menu, select Proxification rules. Click on Add. In the Open It window, in the Name field, enter a name for the rule. It's needed only to distinguish one rule from another. Click on the plus icon, which is under the Applications field. Now, select the program for which you want to set the proxy. Then, in the Action field, select the required proxy, click Save. Now your proxy is set for selected programs or browsers only. You also can use different proxies for different applications. You can check if the proxy is working by going to iprefy.com in the program for which the proxy was configured. Your IP should be replaced with the proxy IP. Now you can see in Safari browser proxy runs. In Google Chrome browser proxy doesn't work. Great, you did it. And again, when you need to disable the proxy, click profile in the upper left corner. In the pop-up menu, select proxification rules. 
in the Open It window select block in the Action column. And some hacks. If you have connection difficulties, try next. Rotate the external IP address of the proxy. Restart proxy fear and software or browser that you are using. Restart the device. Delete proxy fear and set it again. Maybe you have other hacks. Let me know in the comments below. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so you could win cool prizes. And by prizes, I mean surprise. There are no prizes. It's a free YouTube video. You're greedy. Just like the video man and subscribe to the channel. Why do you want free things on free things? If the video was helpful, share it with colleagues and friends who also need a simple tutorial and discounts for proxy use. Leave a comment below on whether you manage it to add a proxy or not and write any questions related to the proxy. I will try to answer it or create a separate tutorial. Have a great day!